What up, y'all? It's Jaren from Berkshire Bike and Board. We got the Ralph Fiesta 500 going on right now. 500 kilometers in eight days. We're doing um, we're we're doing kit setups, gear setups for everybody. How do you stay warm when it's raining and you're riding in the dark? Anyways, we got Jay Alling here to go through his setup. Uh, we rode this morning at the crack of dawn. Believe it or not, he wore the bibs all day today because he was super excited to make this video. So. Here he is to walk us through his, his setup. Oh, thank you, Jaron. Yes, I did wear the bibs all day. I just uh, They were just so comfortable. I just kept them on and uh, put some pants on over them. And uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this moment all day. So uh, I guess I'll just start from my, my socks. I got these nice merino wool socks. We got them here at the Berkshire Biking Board. Buy two, get one pair free. So why not? Rock them. Fresh pair. I'm not sure if you guys can see this in the video, but can you see Jay's pipes in, from that far away? <laughs> Jay is juicing. Juicing? Yeah, and he definitely stinks all the time. All the time. So, uh, merino wool on the feet. I got a merino wool base layer from Specialized. Definitely into that one. And uh, these also Asos bibs. Bib tights is my favorite these days. I'm just going to go ahead and put my base layer shirt on under my... Uh, Straps, <sighs> I don't know. Wool on skin is good. Definitely helps uh, <clears throat> mitigate the... Uh, <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> mitigate the sweat. Um, where do I go next? I think I go to my pants. I, I did this this morning and the mic wasn't on, so uh, I'm just gonna do it in reverse. So I got these uh, sweet Gore-Tex insulated <laughs> Waterproof, windproof pants. It was like 30 plus degrees out today, so it was almost too warm. We were sweating profusely. 40 miles, yeah, it happens. So these things are sweet, a little dirty. You got some good coverage. I did, I was uh, cross country skiing in once and I ripped them. Had to do a little repair tape on that. They don't have any uh, real good gaiters, so they do fall down a little bit. Uh, next, Jim Grimley from Shimano Pearl Zumi hooked me up with these uh, MW7s. This is a Gore-Tex Shimano cycling SPD boot. Um, Did your foot get wet today? That no. is the question. No, my foot was not wet. I mean, we weren't. I mean, it's muddy on the outside. This is a Gore-Tex lined boot. It's really sweet. Tons of shoes that we have here at the shop and. It always seems like people expect a lot out of these types of boots. Um, I mean, in the cold, cold weather, it's personal, but these boots aren't magicians. They can't perform, you know, miracles. So you got to wear good layers. I really believe in wool. So layers of wool, and then even slide in a, a hand warmer in there. Or um, Stefan gets these nice insole, heated insoles. But these things are sick. Thank you, Uncle Jim. Send Jim for getting me these this year. Come in, check them out, put your hands on these things, and you'll be blown away. So, kept me dry. They look really cool. They look like they're like some like Star Wars. <coughs> Supa Troopa. Supa Patroopa. Jay, what is the first rule of the Fiesta 500? You have to wash your kit every time before you go out. Wash, wash, wash your mouth, <laughs> wash your kit at least three times a day. You don't have to wash. I mean, I don't have to wash these. Whatever, it's fine. It's, are, you, are you riding home right now? Yeah, I'm gonna be riding home. Yes, that is the spirit right there. Extra five, five. Every five miles counts, bro. That is the truth. So, um, crud. Where is my Favorite piece. Look for my uh, wool sweater. It might be right under here. That's right there. Okay, so I'm going to go to another layer of wool. This was definitely not necessary today. Um, I mean, it was nice when I jumped on my bike and it was cold. So I got this nice merino wrap. Walking us through. Styling in the turtleneck. Turtleneck's very important. Dang. And then uh, more, more wool. Add more. Just got to have more wool. This is a sweet... Um, specialized boof. Jay, spell boof for us. B-O-O-F. 
Boof. Jay, what's a boof? I think a boof is technically something that I should not be saying on the YouTubes, but uh, <laughs> yeah, a boof is a neck warmer. So on to the next. Um, we do sell a ton of the uh, really expensive shake dry gore jackets. Which, uh, Has Crack Wall ever boofed a toothpick? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, is not cut that, that, cut that. It was ingestion, not, not a boof. So anyways, uh, we're huge fans of the gore stuff. So gore pants, I got this gore jacket. It's essentially a, you know, a tougher shake dry, um, waterproof, windproof. Uh, another unspeakable brand, but it's warm. It's a cap that um, makes you, as Stefan would say, tilt your neck back a little bit more because <laughs> of the visor. I guess that kind of does not make sense, but it does help at times. Um, this is my Smith Network helmet that uh, I kind of relegated to the winter helmet. It's white, so it gets dirty real quick. But just as safe as any other of my other helmets. And uh, Network has MIPS and it has Corroy. It holds on to my ultra cool Smith glasses. These are some um, photochromics. So they're clear right now. And if it was to get sunny out, which doesn't really do right now, um, they would darken up. These things are sweet. <coughs> This, this kit right now here gets me pretty cold. Super cold, I would put on, uh, I have gore uh, bib tights that I might put over this, or under these pants, or have insulated shorts that I put over, put over some uh, bib tights. Last but not least, gore gloves. On cold days, I might put a, like a knit liner in here, give a little more loft insulation. But uh, I've been feeling this kit. It's not like roadie tight. But, oh, uh, kind of into it. Famous last words? Yeah, I'm riding home tonight. It's dark already. It's 6 o'clock. Um, six mile commute. Take some back roads. <clears throat> Get warm in the beginning. Go up Elling Hill one last time of the day. And, uh,. No, I've been having fun. I was having fun out with Jaron this afternoon, this morning, on our 40-mile ride. It was great. It was a good time. Um, are we wrapping it up? Look at that bike, dude. Jay wants to talk about his bike. The thing is sweet, right? It's cool. It's a nice bike. Why? Why? <laughs> why is my bike a lot cleaner than yours? I was thinking. Maybe, Did, is it the tires? <clears throat> it's a good question. The cool thing about getting like mud and stuff on your bike is if you're if you're going fast, it goes on in like a like a motion. It's like a speed speed mud. I don't see any of that on Jay's bike. Um, are we over and outing? Over and out. Very good. That's me. Uh, that's me kitted up. I'm ready to go home. We gotta think of a better way to close.